by the end of this video, you will know how to scale from doing $0 per day to $1,000 per day. Okay, yeah, how you can do this in the next 30 days as well without any connections, lots of startup capital or money while maintaining profitability. Okay, if you are running any type of business and you acquire customers in an online manner, this will work for you. It does not matter the industry. Okay, I know these are big claims. Let me just prove it to you first. Okay, so you can see here, for example, this is a client uh, that we have, we took on. Okay, they literally start from scratch. Okay, so they've been doing this for quite a while. I think if I'm not wrong, two years. And they've been trying to do SEO. Okay, so SEO is organic traffic and then just have people come onto the site and stuff. Okay, and hopefully I can stretch this back to, I don't know how long. Let me just stretch back to August, okay? Just to show you that this, um, this entire business is not even like producing any sort of sales. So you can see here, they tried running SEO and stuff and then uh, their rankings just got flagged, okay? However, once after we came in, you can see this style of sky rocket growth that you can experience where number one, you know what you're doing and number two, you know how to run paid traffic. If you can go into the marketplace and make money anytime that you want without like relying on other people, right? You are 100% control of your business. It's very, very liberating just because you know you can go into the marketplace and do this, okay? So I wanna show you exactly how to do this because I understand that if you know how to do this, it's gonna be incredibly useful for you, okay? Uh, let me just, okay, I didn't reload this, but let me just refresh this to show you that this is uh, like a real page. Like I'm not trying to hide any numbers for you to you, okay? I'm also gonna show you the ad account behind it, okay? So give me one second right here. Let me switch over to the tab. So this is the complete ad account. You can see this is a fresh ad account. It started on the October 24th, okay? You can see here October 24th is, sorry, give me one second. October 24th, you can see here, boom, it's the first day of sales and just money just comes in, okay? Money can't solve everything, but liquidity sure can solve your financial distress in some way, okay? So you can see here, this is an account. Let me just refresh for you as well. You can see this is updated stats, okay? And I'm gonna show you the exact numbers behind it as well so you can understand what is happening, okay? So I will go on to the ads later on in the video, but I also know that uh, my reputation is that I'm used to showing you big numbers. If you see my other case studies, they're all about big numbers, but I don't want you to be afraid of that. Just because like I'm able to achieve that for someone else doesn't mean you can't achieve that as well, okay? And like I start from scratch as well, okay? Like these are proof, like results that you can start from zero and still do the same process and get like similar results, okay? So don't think of it as, hey, I need to be some big company to do this and stuff. Okay, let me go right into the presentation right now. So I'm going to go into the stats uh, later on afterwards as well, okay? But okay, so this is what I'm promising you at the, by the end of this video, okay? You might be saying, okay, but um, Jonathan is special, okay? This is like the biggest jo joke of all time. Like I, I'm a joke, okay? I've learned to do this. Like I'm showing you the end result here, okay? But I learned how to do this over three years of just learning this particular skill. So you don't see the hard work, you only see the result. That's why you may be impressed, I'm not sure, okay? I also don't have a programming background. I, I, I can't code, okay? I'm literally sitting in my bedroom. So like, um, there's no excuse why you shouldn't be able to do this. Like, this is literally my bedroom. I can't, I can't turn the camera, but you get what I mean? I'm not good with numbers, okay? I took uh, international baccalaureate, which is like an uh, exam uh, for my A-levels, right? And then I got a five out of seven. Everybody in my school gets six and sevens. I got a five, okay? I'm from Singapore as well. So you might be thinking, oh, I need to be in a Western market. I need to be in the US to be able to do this. No, you don't. I'm, I'm sitting in my bedroom in Singapore, literally, okay? And people always say, I also don't have a lot of money. I'm not asking you to spend a lot of money, okay? You can see here on the first day, October 24th, like we start very, very small. Um, sorry, give me one sec. Maybe 25th. You can see, we start spending 150 a day on the first day, okay? So I'm not asking you to, to spend a lot of money. And you might be saying, hey, okay, I need to spend $5,000. No, you don't have to spend $5,000. You spend gradually and money comes back to you. So you're not actually spending 5K. You are spending uh, like increments, like very, very gradual amounts. And then money comes back and then you put in more money and then more money produces. So it's not like you're spending a lot of money up front. Okay. If you know how to do this, you don't have to spend a lot of money up front. It's just cash flow. Okay. So like these are, people always say, oh, I can't do this, but... I'm telling you this, these things, okay? So 
kind of like, what's your excuse? Okay, you should be able to do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, no worries. Okay, let me just show you, be transparent here as well. The numbers behind it as well. So you can see five five thousand dollars. So you can see this is the amount I just pulled just now, but it's just updated. So yeah, okay. So the the ad spend is five k, and the revenue back is ten k. Okay, then you might be saying, oh oh, uh, like the rest is really it's not that good. Yeah, it's not that good. I know that. Uh, I know because the brand literally just started advertising. So when you start, you need to be, to be patient. You can't just expect instantaneous returns. There's no such thing as get rich get rich quick, right? So you need to start advertising as the, the larger the, the audience pool be, uh, becomes, the, the more profitable it becomes. So I am very, very cognizant of that. And that's why I don't think in short-term time horizons. You need to think in long-term time horizons. So as the, the number of warm traffic people increase over time, right? Then you're able to advertise more and the cost per acquisition goes down at scale. It's literally like any company in the world. Imagine you start selling to, to people. People don't know you in the industry, you know? But once you start advertising and more people know you, then people and referral traffic comes back and then your returns increase and your profitability increases as well. Okay, so like this is the graph that I'm showing you because we are literally at 0 0.2 here. We literally started with nothing and we are just slowly gra gradually increasing. And in the, in the advertising game or any, anything that scales, right? Things scale exponentially. Means that you might be chugging along, you might be chugging along and then you you don't see a lot of results, right? You see linear results. You put in a dollar, you put back two dollars, something like that. But as you increase over time, these returns are going to go through the roof. Like literally anything in life, you can literally just search Amazon share price, right? It's like in 2013, the entire company is slow and steady. They're just burning cash. They're they are not profitable, right? But you can slowly see, just increase, increase the share price to two, 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 then just go up all the way. It's exponential. So don't think success comes uh, instantaneously. What I'm showing you here is like, um, I've been doing this a long time already, right? So that's why I, I, I'm saying this is only at the start. Okay, you can expect much greater returns as we scale. Okay, I want to talk about something else very important as well. Okay, imagine if you quit on November 9th. Let me show you what happened on November 9th. So we're spending money, spending money, da da da, right? Okay, let me stretch to, um, sorry, 24th. Okay, so you can see here, as we'll start starting the scales like $0, okay? One two nine three six five 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 three hundred five nine, okay. And then we had like a really good, like the highest day of all time, nine hundred per day, okay. Um, nine hundred per day. And then the next day suddenly boom, three hundred forty-seven. Can you imagine the mentality that you have to have? You need to have like mental fortitude to continue advertising, even though you had one down day. So that's what really like life business is about. You have one bad day, okay, move on, just do do, do better the next day. Right? And then the next day we come back up and then come back come back up and now we're doing better than ever. So like from the mental side of things as well, you need to be mentally strong. You are running a business. You can't expect everything all the time. But you definitely should be uh, emphasizing and improving upon day by day. That's that's what this that's why I put this slide because it's very important for you to have the mental aspect to it as well. Okay, you need to be mentally strong to be able to run advertising, to be able to uh, do close clients, like everything in life. Just be mentally strong, man. Like if you encounter a setback, just move on. Move to the next thing, you know? Just don't complain, just move on, okay? And and I'm, I'm saying this just because I, I had this conversation with the client. So he was feeling very uncomfortable, right? Because he's like, oh no, the, this is a very down, bad day. I'm saying, hey, hey, st stay calm and stay calm. We know what we're doing. We got our process down and locked, okay? Our ads, the, the numbers, the metrics stack up. We know what we're doing. We're not just burning regular spending, you know? So you need to be very, very careful on that as well, okay? So how do we get these types of results? Okay, we get these type of results. Uh, I'm not gonna call this arrow approach. I'm just saying we are very accurate, right? So just like an arrow, like shooting arrows, okay? What we do, honestly, it's really so simple. We create a landing page. We run ads, run traffic, boom, money. Okay, this is sim simplifying everything, but basically run ads. So, so imagine um, your, your online business, right? Your website is your store. Right, normally on retail, you, you, you pay for rent, right? And that there's foot traffic. So even if you don't run on advertising, your advertising is actually, you're paying for the lease because you're, you're paying for that location. So there's foot traffic, you understand? When you run ads, you're you are paying for the foot traffic to come to your site. So think of it as that, those are just customers, okay? The landing page is your store. So you create a landing page to uh, really talk about the pains and fears as well as sell the product and the offer that you're selling to the audience to the foot traffic, to the people coming to your store, right? 
and if they are willing enough to give you money, then boom, money. So that th this, uh, they always call it traffic and conversion, right? So this is, you run the traffic, it converts on the landing page. Traffic and conversion, traffic and conversion, okay? So, th so, so that's how money is being generated on the internet. I don't know how else to say it. Like, we're, it's just people transacting online, in an online fashion. It's not any different from real life, you know? It's like how you're watching me th on this video. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, okay? So the arrow approach is how we ensure success. So you might be saying, uh, oh no, is there like a uh, uh, like low success rate to it? There's a low success rate if obviously you don't know what you're doing, okay? And if you don't do proper research. So how do we always get results for and ensure like, uh, like that the results stack up? Because you do the research beforehand. If you've done the preparation for the exam, you're definitely not going to fail the exam. Make sense? Right? So how to ensure success is you always have to do customer research about who you're selling to, right? Okay. Then once you understand these insights, for example, um, I keep saying this calculator, okay? Uh, you're selling this calculator, right? Uh, these are selling to finance professionals, for example, right? So what do customers care about this, this calculator that's, that is accurate, uh, that's able to do a net pre uh, present value calculation, da, da, da. can it do this? Can it help me, blah, 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 right? So you understand what the customer wants, okay? Make it very clear on what uh, this calculator can do for them. This will allow you to pass your exams, da, 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 whatever. Okay. Then the creatives are basically the advertising that I'm putting out are engaging, are converting in nature. So they, they actually talk about the pain point. They talk about the problem and they sell the customer the fact that this can solve your problem by this, da, da, blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. AOV optimization is something a bit more technical. So AOV is, is called average order value. Average order value means how much money can you extract per customer? Right. So if imagine I have a hundred people on site, and 1% buy, that's a 1% conversion rate. And imagine you're selling your product at $50. So your AOV is $50 because the average dollar amount that the customer is giving you is $50, okay? So you line all of this up, then you shoot your arrow, okay? The arrow is traffic. And that's that's what you're seeing here, okay? The traffic is ads, okay? No, not, that, not that difficult, okay? Where are you getting traffic from? Where is the people coming from? Generally, Facebook, Google, they own the internet. They own the 95% of the internet. That's where you get it. you're going to get the traffic from, okay? And systematically, from the data that Facebook and Google tells us, then we scale the advertising spend based on that, okay? You're putting more eyeballs onto your products. That is all. Simple. More people buying your products, more money. Simple. Times number of, number of purchases times your average order value is revenue. Done. Okay, then you just scale based on data. So there's no regular spending just because we are seeing that, hey, this works better than this. Let's do this more. That is all. I'm going to show you that right uh, after this, just after this. Okay, and then obviously, as I said before, your mindset. When, if you're not accustomed to like spending money to make money, then you, you feel very, um, what's the call? You feel weird about yourself or bad about yourself because you've never done it before. And it's 100% okay. Because if you have never done and done something that you have never done in the past, obviously you're gonna feel uncomfortable. If I learn programming for the first time, I'm gonna feel extremely uncomfortable because uh, I probably suck more than a lot of other people, right? Stuff like that, you know. So it's okay. You gotta push yourself outside of the comfort zone, right here, right? So, yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna show you like the process that that we use, for example. So I'm gonna show you the exact ads, okay? So you can see here, like very very easy structure. Okay, we have a tofu here, mofu and bofu. Okay, tofu is just um, top of funnel. Top of funnel means cold traffic. Okay. Um, I'm using broad right here. So broad is um, just individual interest. Okay. So I, I'm going to teach this. Uh, you can watch other videos and stuff, but yeah, it's basically individual interest. And then MoFo is middle of funnel. So everything from people who have seen my video before, uh, come onto my website before, have shown particular intent of actually, um, you know, they have already come to my site. They, they like trust and know me already. Okay. And then bottom of funnel, people who are extremely, um, certain that they are very, very interested to buy the product. They have shown interest that they have bought the product already. So for example, they've came onto my site and then they've already added the cart. So I know that they are interested in the product, just that there's some mental block in them that is preventing them from buying, you know? Yeah, so so stuff like that, okay? So as you can see as well, um, most of my purchases are coming from Tofu. So why is this? It's because you need to sell to people who do not know you to be able to grow your company. Make sense? Right? If you keep selling to the people who are already know you, you can't expand the company. Because you run out of people whom you are, uh, who already know you. You need to expand. Yeah. So the most powerful thing, hopefully you can understand this, but if you can sell to cold traffic, to people who do not know you, at a uh, profitable clip, 
you can make money any day, all day. Because the people who know you already, the cost per acquisition is going to be decreased. It's going to be cheaper to acquire the customer versus someone who doesn't know you, right? If you're watching this video right here on YouTube, I don't know, whatever. Um, you probably don't know me, okay? Most of you are cold traffic, okay? But if, you, if you're warm traffic, um, then you already know me. Then you have seen my other videos, right? So you trust me more. Make sense? So you're, you're more willing to buy from me in the future. Hopefully that analogy makes sense, right? So that's why you can see the difference in the cost per purchase here. So Facebook attribution is kind of wrong, honestly. Um, so this $82 per cost per purchase is not actually $82. So it's, it's, it's much lower than that, okay? But just because um, this is the problem with the ad platform, it's just the attribution. So just ignore that first, okay? So that's why you can see people who know me, they are buying at a much cheaper clip than people who do not know me, right? It's very common sense, but this is how you use data and then you carefully plot along to find what works, okay? So I'm not gonna dive into MoFu and BoFu, I'm gonna show you the Tofu campaign, okay? It's a mess, <laughs> you can see. They really test a lot, a lot of things. And it's, it's not like, we just do it for fun, you know? Because um, in advertising, what you're doing is, is having hypothesis of what works from your customer research and then you put it out into the audience and then you find what works. So you can see here, we've tested like so many things and not, not everything hits, you know? So that's kind of the difference between the top 1% and everybody else. Because the top 1% are just more resilient. They're just test more, you know? You, you, you see here, right here? Like I'm getting a purchase right here for like 131. Okay, this is not accurate, but it's significantly higher than the rest I'm getting, right? So that just tells me that, okay, this audience is converting, but uh, our message is not really uh, tailored towards these guys, right? So you can see here, for example, I was, I was trying to uh, advertise to the well-being niche, well-being. I advertise to the sales, like people who are doing sales. These two absolutely bombed. Do you see here, I spent, we spent like 69 here. Um, and then we spent like $60 here. There's no purchase. It's okay, it's good. You know why? Because now I know I'm not gonna go there anymore, right? If I go, if I go to uh, Hawaii, for example, and I don't enjoy myself, I'm not gonna go there again. So I'm not gonna spend money there. Make sense? So like, it's very, very, honestly, at the end of the day, it's very common sense. It's just doing more of what works and just doing less of what doesn't, you know? So you can see here, for example, so you might be wondering, okay, this LP V2, okay, this is basically a landing page version two. We created a like, separate landing page to test out something else, okay? And it's running to the business audience, okay? At $150 and $12 uh, purchase and then 67 cost per purchase. So you might be saying, okay, compared to the metrics above, this looks quite decent, right? So why why turn off uh, the, the, the campaign since you said, hey, it's working, why, why did you turn it off? That's because Facebook, um, the performance of the campaign dipped uh, after a while. We're not sure why, Facebook just runs like this. So that's why it's uh, uh, like a bit time intensive, but basically this campaign, we cannot run anymore. The cost per purchase was going too high, too, too through the roof. And so we have to turn it off. So that is why it's being turned off. Right now, you can see here, the majority of the campaign is just being split um, between a few. And we just want to uh, gradually increase the ad spend day by day, right? So we understand how much we are putting in. And that's why you're seeing um, the, the rocket growth here. Like we are gradually increasing ad spend. We're not increasing by 2x every time, you know? We're not, we're not increasing. We're probably increasing by like 10% every day. And then we're seeing whether that, that is doing better and stuff and launching new things, obviously, right? So you, you, you can see like, it's a very systematic approach of doing things. And we don't always like, this is the end result. That's why I keep saying this is the end result. Don't look at the end result. Look at the process, okay? From the get-go, okay? Let's start with, uh, for example, the 26, right? Where uh, legitimately some, some sort of traction was coming in, right? You can see here on the 26, we spent 157 and only get back um, 26, 129. So we are, we're, we're making a loss here. We're make, literally making a loss, right? But we know this because you're putting data out there. You're just trying to find your footing. You're nobody in the marketplace. You're the first time you're, you're advertising. So that's why you need to be patient. You need to understand the data, then come back, then scale. Okay, cut the fat, scale, cut the fat, scale. Launch, 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 cut the fat, scale. Simple, very, very simple. I'm, yeah, hopefully, like by by uh by making it very, very simple for you to understand, you you understand the process, right? And then, for example, let, let's say on a on a high day, right? October thirty first. What were we doing? Okay, so October thirty first, you can see here, right? Spent over two hundred fifty, got back five hundred sixteen. So from a loss making position, we.
we go up to a 2x, around 2x, I think. Yeah. So it's not like, um, it's all like great results from the get-go. No, no, it's a slow process to understand what's working. And then stuff like this happens. Like sales, they just don't convert. And then we spend $34. And then, okay, let's move on, right? Let's stop spending money on this, this finance thing. Okay? Yeah. So, so hopefully this process gives you more perspective on what it is, okay? I, I, I don't want to always show you the victories. I want to show you the, the, the failures, right? November 9, what, what was happening on November 9? Okay, so let, let's compare November 8 and November 9 uh, just so that you can give, uh, get some um, perspective, right? So November 8, you can see, 247 spent um, November 8. And then, so yeah, great. It's, I, I think around a 3x, right? 3x return, right? It's like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, best high of the day, okay? Yay, okay? Um, and then what happened the next day? Still spend the same amount, 347, even bumped up the ad spend, right? But only one, one ad set was converting. And then a down day. But it's okay, right? Because um, it's not hindsight 2020. Because at this point in time, imagine if we didn't have uh, new data, right? At this point in time, I know for a fact things are converting and the ad is performing okay. We just need, because that, that day probably not enough people bought. It's okay, okay? We just have to be patient. Let's stick to the next day. Let's stick to our game plan and move on, okay? I really want to emphasize the, the, the mental aspect to it. Yeah, okay? Yeah, so hopefully by, by showing you the actual numbers behind a real campaign, you can understand like, hey, um, I'm not God, you know? Like, I don't always like, uh, it's not always like $50,000 days <laughs> every day. You, you can start at any point in your business. Whatever revenue you're doing right now, you can scale it up, okay? And the great thing about it is that, um, the, the, the market is open, like it's capitalism, right? So it's, it's a free market. Anyone can do this. I'm not special, you know? Th this this is like, uh, uh, yeah, okay? So hopefully you understand the process. I really want you to, to get it where it's it's everything. It's everything from the habits that you do, the type of advertising that you run, the type of mindset that you have in running a business. Do you actually care about your customer? Are you getting results for them? Are you getting them the transformation that you're promising? All of these things factor in into the result. Money is the byproduct. That is all. But if you understand this, and if you can, um, if you have the skill to do this, you can go into any marketplace and make a lot of money. Okay, I'm only showing you like um, $0 per day to $1,000 per day. That's only 30K per month, right? Okay, now apply that and try to scale to the next level, to 100K, to 300K, to 500, you know? And check out some of the other case studies as well, right? Because I... I I feel like uh, I I'm teaching the same thing, but it's a process that you can learn. It's a process that you can follow step by step and that will allow you to, to get to wherever you want to go, okay? Once again, um, before I end off my, my video, I want to say this, okay? I want to re reiterate this. You, you might say, hey, but Jonathan is special. I, I've i been doing this for three years, okay? So um, I, I, I've documented everything. I know how to do step by step. Already, because like there's a process. I don't like veer off the process. You know, in the November 9th, if I veer off the process, we won't get this result today, right? I don't have a programming background. I'm not very technical. I pretty suck at it, actually. I'm not good at numbers, man. Really, I just look at hey, money in, money out, money in, money out, cash, cash in, cash out, okay? Manage your cash flow properly. You won't get screwed over, okay? Oh, I need to be in the USA. You probably don't, okay? You probably don't. Um, I'm from Singapore. I don't have a lot of money. I showed you just now. We started at 150 a day. Okay? I had to Google this meme, by the way. <laughs> okay? So, bruv, what's your excuse? Okay? Now, go out there. Um, go and make some money for yourself. Okay? Ken, thank you.